Hey folks, I have a new product here. Not even sure if it's on the market yet. It was just released by Colt. It's their AR-15A2. It's been a while since they've made a full length rifle. This one here is modeled after the Marine Corps M16A4. There are a few differences, uh, not a whole lot. Um, of course, it's not select fire, it's just semi-auto and safe. But one of the differences you'll see is this ambidextrous safety, um, which is really nice. It's a little bit shorter than the full size one. It's good to go though. Now, one thing that I really like about this, this now this is a very basic model. It's meant to be modeled after, like I said, a general issue military rifle. But, in all its simplicity, that's a little bit misleading because it is, even though it's a, a simple basic rifle, it is extremely well made. The details in it are very good. And just as an example of that, the selector switch. Almost every single AR that I have handled um, has a little bit of play. When you put it on safe, it's, it usually kind of aims down a little bit and a little bit of play. Not this at all. You can actually hear it. It snaps into place. It's extremely well done. So don't think just because this is a basic model that it's not made well, because it is. Uh, this here, just like the A4, it's got the A2 buttstock, has a removable carrying handle slash sight, and it's a flat top. This has basic hand grips, unlike the, A, the M16A4, which normally comes with Knight's Armament Company hand guards. Uh, this one is just a basic GI issue hand guards. And then also, uh, the A4 in its current issue is n actually not issued with this handle, um, as far as I know anyway. It's actually also issued with a Knight's Armament Company, or there's a couple other companies they use. I don't remember what the other one's name is. They have uh, flip-up iron sights, uh, so it, it comes with that, generally not the carrying handle. But I do like that they sell this with the carrying handle. I like that. <clears throat> Has the birdcage compensator on the front, 5.56 five, NATO, 1 and 7 twist. It's got the front iron sights. Has a government profile barrel. Compare this to another rifle that I have. This one here, this is the Colt Sporter rifle, and this is actually modeled after an A2. Has a charging hand, or excuse me, a carrying handle with the sight. This is not removable. I actually bought this back in, I believe it was like 93, 94. Uh, there's no bayonet mount on it. And it also has, which I really hate, it has this front takedown pin is different. You actually can't remove it unless you have two screwdrivers. So instead of completely separating, it just swivels. Now, another difference, this here has a sear block in it. And another feature that I really hate is a half bolt. And I can say that I'm I was a little bit afraid when I pulled out this AR-15 A4 that they just released. I was afraid that they might have some stuff like that on here, but they really don't. They do have, just one second, I'm putting this bolt back. I want to show you this. One of the differences here that you'll see in the lower receiver is right here, there's a little split. Um, kind of a split cavity. That's one of the differences of what you'll see in a standard uh, military issue A4. But you see the difference here <clears throat> with these. There's the sear block and this cavity here. I'm sure they put this here to prevent somebody from modifying it to full auto. Uh, because you know without Colt's intervention us gun owners would just commit felonies. You know that. 
Um, but here is the the H bar. Here's the difference. Government profile. It's like an hourglass, and this is a thick H bar. Now, back in the day, back around the time frame that I was in the Marines, the Marine Corps actually looked at going to this H bar for the rifles, but they ultimately decided not to. All right, so let's break it apart. Take a look at it. Pretty standard. It's got the what's called the full auto bolt, which both bolt, excuse me, full auto bolt carrier group, which is standard issue bolt carrier group. Everything on it's the same. Typical charging handle. And here's the lower, like I showed you. It does have this split, separated little cavity there. Everything else is the same. Very similar to the military issue rifle. Now, <clears throat> actually, I got this on loaner uh, for an article I'm writing for a magazine, and I have not, due to the short deadlines, actually, the article is due tomorrow, I have not had a chance to shoot this for accuracy at length, which is, you know, 100 yards, 200 yards. Yesterday, I did sight it in. It's the first time getting it out. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, first time getting it out, I put about 400 rounds through it. Uh, mostly American Eagle XM855, 62 grain. Uh, a little bit of Independence ammo, 55 grain, full metal jacket. Now one hiccup, shot perfectly. Um, when I was sighting it in with the iron sights at 25 yards, I had. First shot was a little high, second shot was a little low, and from there, dead center, the next three rounds actually touched each other, uh, center bolt. Um, iron sights are excellent, very solid, can't go wrong, same as what I fired in the Marine Corps. Um, I shot standing rapid fire, in which I dumped most of the ammo, and at 50 yards, I was able to put the whole thing in uh, just a little bit bigger than a plate size target. So if it was a person at 50 yards, it would have been center chest. Now, being that this is pretty much the same rifle as what I shot in the Marine Corps um, and what the current Marine, Marine Corps is shooting, I would say that without a doubt, this will have the same accuracy potential, which is on my day, when I was at the range, the furthest we shot was 500 yards. We shot a man-sized target, and with this rifle, I have no doubt you put that center mass. No problem. It's an outstanding rifle. I know the accuracy potential is there, even though I didn't shoot it. I can say that without a doubt. Um, one of the things now, I know the full-size AR has kind of gone out of fashion because everybody has an M4. And it's been a long time since I've shot a full-size AR, and I'd say there are some benefits to it. For one thing, you have the full-size gas system, which is arguably more reliable. Now, I say arguably because the M4 carbine, now in its current, uh, you know, since they've got everything addressed on it, I don't have any reliability issues with that at all. So, I think the M16 platform is just reliable. One of the other benefits, the longer weight out front in the gas system also means there's almost no muzzle flip. And I know that ARs don't, the 5.56 ARs don't have a lot of recoil anyway, but this is even better and follow up shots are even faster. You can dump a mag very accurately faster than with a carving, I would say. One of the things that this AR 15A4 has that the issued M16A4 does not have is M4 feed ramps. And in talking with the Colt rep, that's something that's not necessary, but it doesn't hurt. And if anything, it, it could ultimately benefit it. I wanted to clarify something I said earlier. I talked to a Colt representative, and this is actually not technically new for this year. This was actually released about a year ago, but they did not have it tooled up for production until this year. So at the SHOT Show, they kind of re-released it as new for this year, even though technically 
the model has been out a year. The MSRP on this is $1,270. I'd say for that price, yes, it is no frills, it's basic, but this is a high quality rifle. It's an excellent quality rifle. If you're looking to replicate what the Marine Corps is using, then this is the rifle right here. So if you haven't looked at it, uh, you know, when it hits the market, when you can find one, I would definitely check it out. You need to take a look at the, the full length rifle and consider it, you know, it might fit your needs better than a carbine. So check it out. If you have any questions, let me know. Semper Fi and God bless.